Motivation can have profound effects on our lives. It is a key driving force that helps us achieve our goals and aspirations. A recent study following postgraduates showed that 84% of these graduates did not have any goals. 13% had goals but not written down, whilst only 3% had written down their goals along with making plans. Years later, the study showed that 13% who had set their goals were earning twice as much, whilst the 3% who had written down the goals and made plans were earning as much as 10 times as more when compared to the rest. So, what areas of the brain are stimulated by motivation? While the pathway most often associated with reward is the mesolimbic dopamine pathway. It starts in the ventral tegmental area, one of the main dopamine producing areas in the brain. The pathway connects it to an area in the brain called the nucleus accumbens, which is an area in the brain associated with motivation and reward. Dopamine also enhances reward related memories, which takes place in the hippocampus. Dopamine signaling to the amygdala, which processes emotions, and the prefrontal cortex associated with planning and reasoning can create emotional associations with rewards. So, what type of motivational factors are there? One of them is extrinsic motivation. This is where a person carries out an activity to gain an external goal, approval, award, or payment, or to avoid punishment. This type of motivation is what employment is based on. We all feel somewhat motivated to do our jobs in order to get paid. It is the expectation of the reward that has the greatest influence on the emotional reaction and memories. If the reward is greater than anticipated, the dopamine signaling increases. So, if you get a pay rise and that pay rise is more than expected, the dopamine signaling increases. If the reward is less than expected, the dopamine signaling decreases. So, if we do get a pay rise but it's less than expected, it would have a lesser dopamine response. On the other hand, we have intrinsic motivation. This type of motivation comes from within. We carry out a particular task or habit because of the internal reward rather than a specific outcome. The three main staples of intrinsic motivation are autonomy, purpose and mastery. So, a person acting independently, feeling that they are making a difference and enhancing that skill set are all factors that make up intrinsic motivation. A study followed firefighters who reported high levels of intrinsic motivation had worked more overtime hours per week over a period of two months. The desire to help others had resulted in increased effort and willingness to work more. Research has also shown offering external rewards or reinforcements on an already internally rewarding activity can actually make the activity less intrinsically rewarding. This is known as the over-justification effect. A study showed participants solving a puzzle performed well with no reward. When given financial incentive on the second day, they performed better. However, on the third day, they had no financial incentive and performed the worst in comparison to the two other days. This study showed that extrinsic monetary reward can influence and reduce intrinsic motivation to complete a task. Motivation can play a crucial role to achieving success. So, set goals, remember to write them down and don't stop till you achieve them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.